Hello everybody, I'm the Trabox Gamer, welcome back to Ghost of Tsushima. I am gonna go and do this mission because last mission, what's his face, was kind of a dick, so... Yeah. Well, it wasn't, um, like, not during the whole mission, but at the end he was kind of a dick, so... I'm gonna take my time and go and do a different fucking mission. How is your armor fitting, my normally, normally I just ignore this little section, but I just want to check this out, just... Not this, hold on. This. Look at this beauty. Look at that helmet. Jesus Christ, that's a nice looking helmet. I'm gonna be saving this for a different part of the game, but just know that I'm upgrading this right now. But that helmet will be used later on. But there is another outfit that I'm looking for, not you. It's this one, I think. Much better protection. I think it's this outfit. Uh, and we are so close. So close, but I also like the helmet with that one, too. Just upgrade everything you can, when you can, I guess. Don't worry about it. I mean, I like these hats. Like, these look like cool hats. It's just that the trader used them on me, so I don't feel like, you know, wearing them anymore. It sucks, because fuck you, asshole. You fucking betrayed me. Uh, uh, ooh. I don't like that. Fuck it. For now, I'm just going to go and keep the other one like this. I kind of like the look. I like the helmet. The other helmet, I like too. It's just... That helmet, when you look at it fully, it's a little off. You, you'll see what I mean at one point. I've worried about Hochi. They need a break. Such moments are rare these days. I used to be like them. I'm not the same man I was the night before Komoda. Bad was it? Komoda? Bad. We lost everyone. The beach was soaked with so much blood, it was like paste. Be grateful you didn't see it. We rode south all day into the night. A bad storm slowed us to a crawl. Stopped at a farm to sleep a few hours. I woke to screams. The main house on fire. Mongol raiders. They took us to Kaneda in chains. After that, I wish I had died fighting. I think I know where they took Hochi. You want to go now? Yes. Well. Damn. I'm sorry. Like, that sounds rough, buddy. Fuck. Camp on the coast. Mongol ship stopped there it, for it skipped again, I think, but I don't think we missed anything. So we're good. Lord Sakai. Yeah? When this is all over, what will you do? Shit, I don't know. Like, the enemy will be gone, right? Find a way to rebuild. I wish I still felt that way about my temple. I guess I keep an eye on things. Keep people safe. Raise a family. Serve see the temple. You can still do those things. I joined the temple because of my brother. And I always imagined my children and Enjo's children growing up together. Our wives would be friends. The Mongols haven't taken everything, Norio. I mean, that still be could gone. be a possibility. Like, you could and still have a life. good life afterwards. I don't feel it's mine alone. I have to live for Enjo and the other monks who die. Do you ever feel that way about the samurai of Komoda? That's just survivor's guilt, man. Sometimes. You, you gotta keep going, you know? That doesn't feel possible. Maybe that's the point. Life before the invasion feels like it happened to someone else. Or like childhood. Maybe 20 years from now, you'll look back on this moment the same way. Lord Sakai, I told you Hochi strongly opposes violence, right? You said he disagreed. I remember that, yeah. He hates all weapons. We're getting close to the camp. I feel like... I feel like there's going to be more to that conversation, but we got too close and it cut out. Well... I hate to tell your friend, but, uh, 
we gotta do violence. There's no talking to these assholes. Trust me, if there was, I'd try, but there's just no talking to these assholes, alright? I really hope that we weren't supposed to go stealth around here, because if we did... Oh, I broke it. I broke it fast, and I probably screwed us over then. But no game over, so I assume stuff is optional. Easy. Easy. Where would they be? Huh. That's a good plan. What about over there? Find Hochi. We'll meet there. Don't wait for me if I'm late. Get Hochi back to the village. I can handle myself. Are you sure? With the signal cannon. I'll get Hochi. Take refuge in Amida Buddha, my lord. I'm assuming that the next part is gonna be full on stealth then. Shit. Oh, wow, and I almost broke that in literally a few seconds. Get fuck nerd. Nobody notices. Nobody sees. I'm still hidden. Fuck you. Quiet. Oh, crap. Okay, well. Okay, well, good news. Stealth is definitely optional. Bad news is I, uh, got caught. I wanted to be a little more sneaky. I thought I could sneak past the fucker, but no. Eagle-eyed motherfuckers around here. So let's see, that was one guy dealt with. I have one, two, three, four. Maybe more. Cut it down to three. Two. Oh, damn it. No. One. Fall on the ground so I can kill you instantly. And of course you want it. What? Kill him, kill him, kill him, quick. Quick, quick, get out of here. Kill him. There's more people. Fuck. There we go. Alright. Hey, I'm here to help you. You good? Alright. What's happening? Who are you? Don't worry, I'm friendly. Says the guy covered in blood and literally just cut his enemies in half. Are returning me to see the temple. The people there need healers badly. There's no time for this. I'm sorry, but I must remain here. Are you really gonna trust them? Hochi. What happened? Norio, what are you doing here? The Alondro raiding party nearby. They're almost on us. Damn it. Stay back, Hochi. We won't let them near you. Norio, All right. Be nice and easy. Stop this. We dealt with shit like this before. I mean, I've dealt with shit like this before. I see him. Good thing I have these fucking explosive arrows. Like, damn, this makes it easier. Big guy, go fuck yourself. You know, that's a funny way of saying thank you. It's like he's saying I'm fucking rude or something. I don't know why it skipped either. Were searching for me. I gave myself up to save lives. How did they know where to find you? They knew I was at Akashima. And they wanted to return me to see the temple. They need a healer. You're willing to treat the enemy's wounded? Mongol or Japanese? It's a hypothetical elf, huh? Some deserve it. But this means... Has Cedar Temple fallen? I don't know. Norio, take Hochi back to the village before reinforcements arrive. They will seek revenge. I'll meet you there to plan a defense. So we go there. We kick their asses. We send them packing. Good plan. Great plan. Perfect plan. It's probably not going to be that simple, is it? Probably not going to be that easy. Probably going to be some bullshit along the way, but eh, we're used to that. 
don't know, just the way he's, like, the way he was talking, he kind of sounded rude after I saved his ass, like, go learn some manners, like, bitch, bitch, you do realize I saved your little fucking doctor ass, right? I'm not saying I want people to kiss my ass or worship the ground I walk on, but a thank you seems nice enough, like, hey, thanks for saving me. It, you know, show some appreciation. It's wrong to enter violence with more violence, Norio. It's right to prevent more suffering. If you kill these Oh, we're not getting into this conversation. We're not getting into this conversation. Look, these guys have committed so much murder. If we fight back, it's in self defense, alright? Mongols are gathering nearby, preparing to strike. We should evacuate to Castle Canada. Evacuate and the Mongols will hunt you down. Not one of you will live to see Canada's walls. Plus, you have the Ronin, bandits. You got a lot of people after innocence, you know? Norio, I wish you cared about the Eightfold Path more than others' opinions. First, you follow Enjo around. Now, Lord Sakai. Do you ever think for yourself? That is a lot of bullshit coming out of your mouth. That is a lot of bullshit coming out of your mouth, buddy. How about you show some fucking appreciation for the guy? I don't take lives, but I am not a coward. Now, what are you going to do to the enemy since you refuse violence? You going to tickle them to death? Dickhead. Fucking disrespectful son of a bitch. Fuck him, son of a Like, any respect that he had is now gone from my ass. See what defensive preparations we can make quickly. Gather everyone to you. Ready them to take shelter. It's the least you could do. You know. Everyone, we need you to gather here. Let's see. Check this shit out. Here, perfect. No walls. You kind of fucked there. No fucking walls. Um. If we flee into the swamp, people will get lost, separated. Bad idea. Um. But it'll be a main target. Ooh, what's this? Incense burners. Add black powder to the incense. Get the smoke nice and dense. Okay. Enough to use as cover. All right. lead everyone to the temple. I'll deal with the Mongols here. That's a good idea. It's the best idea that I could come up with. My lord, we've gathered everyone. Take them to the temple. I won't let you fight alone. If the Mongols go to the temple, who will protect these people? I'll do as you ask. Keep your Naginata ready. I'll owe you a jar of sake for putting up with Hochi. I get the feeling that guy's gonna be a problem down the line. Like, he's gonna be a pain in the ass later on. Probably get us almost killed because of his bullshit. Okay, got that done. Here's another one. Just put you here. Alright. Four more to go. There's number three. There's number four. Nice and easy. We just pop these. Deal with the assholes. Protect everybody. And it'll go nice and easy. Knock on wood. Alright. Two more. Just two more. One right here. The other right here. Need to find a place at the edge of town to wait. There's a marker. I can hide in a granary. I honestly didn't know that's what these were called. I kind of call these things tree houses. They're here. Now They're bitches. I hope they like smoke, too. I got it. I got it. Hold on. Get them all. Kill them all. Oh, damn it. Really? Fuck you. Ruined the chain, you dickhead. Nice and easy. What if I just chain assassinate them? What is that? No, wait. It would work, but then some other asshole might see us in the process. I get you. I got you. 
Should be. Oh. Oh, shit. Man, what is up with me and not being good at stealth this episode? I hit the prompt. I hit the prompt. Kiss my ass. Okay, it didn't pop up. Screw it. So, stealth's optional. That's good to know. I am kind of happy it is, because if it weren't, we, uh, fail the mission. But at the same time, I really hate that I blew it again. Did I do that, or did you do that? Get fucked. I got hit, but it was worth it. Fuck you. I kind of got confused real quick, because I thought this guy was that guy, and I was wondering how did I get that guy if I didn't even hit him. Oh, you see me? No more stealth? Well, what if I did this? Shit. <laughs> there, what if I did that? Come here. Stop trying to bomb me, asshole. I'm dealing with your friends. You fuck nerd. I'm coming for you after this. Come on. Come here. Where are you going? Where are you running? Why are you trying to hide? Get fucked. Aw, I didn't kill him. Is that the last one? Is there more? I hope to God that they didn't go and attack the temple when I was basically out of stealth because that would have sucked and I'm taking this now. It's mine. We have time for this. There's no pressing matter. I mean, if there was... There would have been a timer, and there's no timer. Or I would have felt it already. It's been a good minute, so we're good. I'm also kind of lost. Give me this. Oh, this is mine. I found the marker. Oh, shit. There are people there. Has Have you been taking care of them this whole time? I am so sorry. I am so sorry. <laughs> While I was sticking around, he was defending all these people. Man, that's embarrassing. Lesson number, uh, whatever lesson, I can't think of one. Uh, during a mission, don't go off procrastinating, people. I was fighting. A Mongol snuck up behind me. Ochi threw himself at a blow meant for me. You're both braver than many samurai I've known. Damn. I need help. Well. I damn. He was behind me until I heard him cry out. By the time I turned around, he was dead. It's not your fault. Not you. Every time they lifted the cover on the pit, the daylight would blind us. This time, one of them stank like sake. I felt their hands pull me up, but my brother threw himself at them. He was starving, wounded, but he fought them. He fought them so hard. Nurio, you don't have to. Yes, I do. They gave up on me and took Enjo. They took my brother. Everyone who rode south from Sido Temple. All gone. Except me. They deserve to live. I'm the one who should be dead. I thought the same thing after Komodo. Many times. I don't know why we survived, Norio. But we did. And these people are counting on us. We're all they have. The people of Akashima are alive because of you. 
Don't forget that. Because they won't. Huh. I feel kind of bad for bitching about the guy earlier. If I knew he was going to do that, I shown a little more appreciation. Jeez. Well, guess that's going to be this episode. Ends on a very sad note, but this game does that from time to time. So thanks for watching, everybody. I'll see you next time. Take care. Please like and subscribe, and have a great day.